Sloviansk has become the next major target in Moscow's campaign to take the Donbass region, Ukraine's predominantly Russian-speaking industrial heartland. Russia's defense minister said Russian army forces and a separatist militia on Sunday captured the city of Lysyhansk and now control all of eastern Ukraine's Luhansk province. Sloviansk, located 70 kilometers 43 miles, to the west in Donetsk province, came under rocket attacks Sunday that killed an unspecified number of people, Mayor Vadim Lyok said. Another soldier interviewed earlier by the Associated Press, a 23-year-old accountant who joined up when the invasion began, said Ukrainian forces simply do not have the weapons to fight off the superior arsenal of the approaching Russian army. We know what's coming, he said with a sad smile. These soldiers were still teenagers when pro-Russian separatists captured and held the town for three months. The brief occupation in 2014 terrorized Sloviansk, where dozens of officials and journalists were taken hostage, and several killings took place. Fierce fighting and shelling broke out when the Ukrainian army laid siege to the city to recapture it. Actually, the war never left Sloviansk. It didn't leave people's heads, said Tishiana Kimion, a 43-year-old dance choreographer who converted a fishing store into a hub for local military units. On the one hand, it is easier for us because we know what it's like. On the other hand, it is more difficult for us since we've been living like this for eight years in a suspended condition. Sloviansk is a city of splintered loyalties. With a large retired population, it is not uncommon to hear older residents express sympathy toward Russia or nostalgia for their Soviet past. There is also distrust of the Ukrainian army and government. After a recent shelling of his apartment block, one resident named Sergei said he believed that the strike was launched by Ukraine. I'm not pro-Russian, I'm not pro-Ukrainian. I am somewhere in between, he said. Both Russians and Ukrainians kill civilians, everyone should understand that. On Thursday, a group of elderly residents couldn't hide their frustration after a bomb blast slashed open their roofs and shattered their windows. Mian said, it became easier to know, who is who, in Sloviansk. Now you can easily see. These people are for Ukraine, and these people are for Russia. She said not enough was done after 2014 to punish people who collaborated with Russian proxies to prevent a repeat of the situation. That is why we cannot negotiate, we need to win. Otherwise it will be a never-ending process. It will keep repeating, she said. The mayor of Sloviansk reflects the city's new trajectory. Taking his cues from Ukraine's wartime leader, President Volodymyr Zelensky, Vadim Lyok has decorated his office with Ukrainian flags, anti-Russian symbols, portraits of national poets, even a biography of Winston Churchill. Russian forces have struck a market in the city of Sloviansk, in eastern Ukraine, killing at least two people and injuring seven, according to officials. Yellow smoke billowed up from an auto supply shop, and flames engulfed rows of market stalls as firefighters tried to extinguish the blaze. It was not immediately clear what munitions had been used in the attack on the frontline city in the Donetsk region or how many people had been at the market when it was hit. Russians again deliberately target areas where civilians congregate, Donetsk regional governor Pavlo Kirilenko wrote in a Facebook post. This is sheer terrorism. Police said the market had been closing for the day, but some shops were still open. In a residential neighborhood on another side of the city, several houses were damaged and firefighters were tackling flames in a burning house where a missile hit. Rescue workers said at least two people had been taken to hospital after that strike. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can be alerted to our next video. We'll see you again soon on Warzone.